want to take a couple of minutes and just show you how we can use machine data or data that's been mapped by a dozer, excavator, grader, uh, and even a compactor and bring that data in the business center to create a surface that then can be used for uh, your site verification, uh, volume checks, uh, pretty much you name it. So the way this starts out with is you have to have your assets configured with uh, the proper uh, e equipment, such as a grade control system with an SNM 940 to report and map the data out on site. So this is done through a service-based application. Now you can use Vision Link, which is the web-based portal to actually look at the data. So you can see here that I can look at section views, I can look at cut and fill maps, I can look at coverage, I can even look at compaction of values. So there's a lot of information in Vision Link that I can access. Now once you have that all set and configured, you can also connect that service, that Vision Link service, into your business center software application. So as you can see here, we've done that. We've set up our profiles and have these external services. And what we've done is we've gone out, we've created a machine data overlay. So by reaching out to that machine, we can create an overlay using area, uh, the on machine data, the machines, we can filter this information depending on how we wanna see that data. So what I've done here is I filtered out the data based on an area such as this trap that I'm looking at and I need to determine, you know, are we within tolerance? Are we, you know, how's the progress of the site? What is our volume of this? So we can actually as built this surface with the machines instead of having a surveyor go out there and check it um, and map it. So it kind of saves a, a significant amount of time when you're actually trying to move a lot of material and you're doing a lot of different stuff out on site. So after I've created that machine data overlay and I filtered and you know, looked at the information I, I want to see, I can then create a surface from it. So what I have here is I just come up simply and say create machine data surface. Now I've already done that because it does take a little time for this to, to process through. But you can see here I have my trap 10, which is my design surface. I'm going to turn off my scans and you can see that's the design surface there. And if I put my cursor over, you can see my surface elevation should be around 446, 447 based on the design. So if I turn on my overlay surface that I created from my last pass, of um, the machine data overlay, I can turn that on. So I'm gonna create that surface. So you can see this is what the surface looks like generated from that machine data. Okay, so you can see they're still moving material out on site. So again, this is kind of a work in progress. So if I put my cursor over here, you can see now as I look, I'm looking at that last pass, I'm at 447, 446. Um, so in even visually, I can see that, hey, it looks like we're, we're pretty well right on target. And then from there, because I do have a surface, I can do a lot of other things, uh, such as go into my surfaces, I can do an earthwork report, where I can come in and actually look at a, a stockpile depression. I can look surface to surface, so I can compare those two surfaces. And I can look at surface to elevation, so I can determine and make sure that this pond was built to the specs needed for the project. So once i'm done with that again i can create these reports i can create these surfaces and i don't have to send a surveyor out on site to actually collect the data i can do it remotely from the machine mapping the, the information sending it through vision link into business center so to learn more about how this all works and operates contact your local site tech dealer to get a demo